Let's talk about closing more of your prospect at live events. Hey Pajama Bosses, it's Masha right here from my home office in Brisbane and in today's video I want to share with you how you can more easily close more of your prospects at live events. You see, very often our team is asking us, Masha and Miguel, well how do you manage to actually get more people who come to live events signed up right there and then and get them started in the business? What are some of the secrets? And actually, we have developed a very simple step-by-step -step system how we can actually close up to 80% of everybody who comes to a live event. Uh, a long time ago, over seven years ago, when we started in our current company, Miguel and I used to run five to seven home meetings every single week. And this is where it all started because we really wanted to get people desperately started in our business. We wanted to grow fast. In fact, we went from zero to $10,000 a month in the first six months of starting this business. Now, what were some of the secrets is actually the following. I'm sure that you're actually inviting people to look at your opportunity, that is a video presentation online, your website or something similar. And actually, this may be the key to how you actually get people started at the live event. You see, the very secret of getting somebody signed up when they arrive to a live event is that this prospect has previously gone and actually revised all of the information about your opportunity, your products, your company. So this might be a little counterintuitive because you say, oh, so many people are so, you know, they're so negative about network marketing. I'm too scared to disclose everything to them. I'd rather have them come to a live event and then let them decide what they feel about the opportunity. I disagree with you. I think it's quite the opposite. I would much rather sit at home in my home office and the comfort of my home office and do plenty of phone calls inviting people to having a look at my opportunity online and the way we usually do that is via an invitation phone call directing them to a website or a recorded video presentation of our company and then the third step after that is actually a follow-up phone call where we either answer questions ourselves or we do a three-way call with an upline. So these three steps are a very successful way at taking people through the system as we call it, giving them all the information about our product, company and opportunity. And this is actually the key. So before somebody comes to an event, they should have actually gone through the three steps. And you may be saying to yourself right now, yes, Masha, I've tried that, but hardly anyone goes through the three steps. And I'm saying to you precisely, from the very first moment you're approaching people and inviting them to have a look at your opportunity, you're looking for giving them all the information about our product, company, and opportunity. And this is actually the key. So before somebody comes to an event, they should have actually gone through the three steps. And you may be saying to yourself right now, yes, Masha, I've tried that, but hardly anyone goes through the three steps. And I'm saying to you precisely, from the very first moment you're approaching people and inviting them to have a look at your opportunity, you're looking for leadership. You're looking for people who are gonna follow your direction, who are gonna be teachable, and who are gonna actually be interested enough to look at all the steps and ask some really good questions when they get to, for example, the follow-up or a three-way uh, phone call. If they've gone through these steps very successfully, uh, they might have quite possibly already signed up in your business after the three-way, but if they haven't, then you need to invite them to a home meeting or a live event in your local area. And that's why I always say to people, if you don't have a live event in your local area every week, then you must start a home meeting. You see, even if you're not very comfortable presenting it, then you just play a video presentation and get one of your upline to validate the meeting. So there's a lot of information in today's video, but what I want you to remember is, if you take people through the information before they come to a live event, you can actually filter through the people who are curious from the people who are actually serious. So the serious people are going to be the one turning up to events. And so when they come to an event, they're just going to be checking out the environment. They're going to be looking at, you know, validation of the business, their testimonies and so on. But it's going to be much more likely for them to make a decision right there and then. And that's what you want to do. So take people through the system, through your three steps, through information and then take them to a live event if they haven't made a decision yet 
and you'll see you'll increase so much the chances of people starting up right at the live event so hope this is really helpful if you found this helpful make sure you share it with your team I think this is uh, probably what some of your team is looking for right now to have the next breakthrough to take them to the next level in their business and if you haven't already downloaded our free book on the seven day success guide make sure you do that right below in the meantime share it like it and see you next time